In this video, we're going to learn how to display our P5JS sketches on a mobile device. So on my screen here on the left, I've got my P5JS browser editor that's running on my computer. And on the right, I've got a screencast of my phone where we can see uh, that I've navigated on my phone browser to the P5JS web editor. Uh, so we're going to be working with those two side by side together today. So the first thing that we'll go over is how to open one of your own sketches on your mobile device. So I'm working with the demo sketch uh, mobile full screen begin here on my computer, and I'll link to this in the description. So very simple sketch here. We're just showing an ellipse on the screen. And my goal here is to get this to open on my mobile device. So I'm going to grab my phone. You'll be able to see what I'm doing on the screen here. And I'm just uh, going to go click on file, open on my mobile device. And let's bring up that sketch so I can see mobile full screen begin. I'll tap that to open. Now, obviously, we can see the uh, mobile screen is really tiny. So really uh, highly recommend to not try to edit on your mobile device. But of course, since we're focused on mobile interaction here in this course, we'll need to run sketches to test them. Uh, so I can go ahead and hit play. And we can see uh, it is running the sketch. So I see the same image now. Of course, there's a catch here, which is that I'm seeing uh, the code editing view. So I can see both my text and the uh, canvas image. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now, if I wanted to try to run this uh, full screen, I can click on file, then share, and open any of these uh, either full screen or present modes. Uh, and that would try to run the sketch full screen. So let's try the full screen. I'll click on the link here. And that's actually running okay. It looks like uh, I'm getting a little bit big of a sketch, so there's some overrun, and that's why I can slide it up and down uh, as I'm touching. So it's not quite perfect. And in fact, there are some tweaks we can do to make a sketch run completely full screen on a mobile device. We'll get to those later. So now that I can view my sketch on my mobile device, I can start to make changes from my computer. So again, do not recommend editing directly on your smartphone. Let's just say I want to change the fill color of this shape that I have here. So I can make the change on my computer, make sure I click File Save or hit Control S or Command S on the keyboard. Then back on my phone, I'll need to refresh. And I can see the changes that I've made. So this is one of the great things about using the P5 web editor is that your sketches are already saved to the web, which means you can share them to your smartphone. You can also share them with other folks. So when we get to the point of testing things, or if you just want to show people what you're doing, you can send them a link really easily. Uh, so as long as you're logged into your P5 web editor on your computer, you can click file, share, and this is that same screen that we saw on the smartphone. Uh, obviously, a little bit easier to read and deal with here on our computer browser. Uh, so I recommend when you're sharing with other folks for them to test, either using the present link or the full screen link. Uh, you can also, of course, share the edit link, but that's going to show both the code and the image. Um, so you can just copy those, either type them into a mobile browser or text or email them to a friend. You can see here, we've got a pretty nice workflow of being able to write our code, make edits on the computer browser, automatically connect it to the web browser, and go back and forth for testing.